Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now I will continue with method three. Now wherever we see run on sentences, this time we are going to use a comma and a fanboy. Okay, we are going to use a comma and a fanboy. And the result will, will, will be a compound sentence. Look at the next exercise. As we see here, following are examples of few sentences. Sammy got his PhD degree space. He returned home. Layla hates Ahmed space. She meets him in the cafeteria. You see, here we have but, we have contrast, and here we have addition, addition, we add one idea to another idea, okay, so we'll continue, a comma and a fanboy can be used to connect together few sentences, uh, and uh, make them compound sentences. Look, for example, Sammy got his PhD and comma and he returned home. The other one, Layla hates Ahmed, comma but she meets him in the cafeteria. You see, but contrast uh, and addition compound sentences. We have a note. Students can go to review compound sentences and review fanboys. In fact, you need to review fanboys in order to know the uh, appropriate fanboy to use. Uh, that's why, you know, you better uh, go back to your to compound sentences. Following is an exercise to apply method 3 you have just learned for correcting if used sentences. We will look at the next exercise. Okay, you will do what you have done before. You will, you will read the sentences and you will find that uh, they are all uh, independent clauses. And if they are uh, fused, sen fused sentences, then you need to use a comma and a fanboy to write compound sentences. Thank you so much. I will move in a couple of minutes to method four in a new video. Thank you so much.